Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good morning to all. Okay, today we meet again uh, for my second week of class. Uh, so this week, uh, I will cover my second part uh, of my topics uh, that's considered the introduction of milling process in ceramics processing. Okay, before I start, uh, I give you about one or two minutes to think, okay? If you as a material engineer, what do you think about the term spillow? Number one is grinding. And number two is milling. So, you need to think uh, why grinding and milling process is important in ceramic processing. Okay, in this video, uh, Maybe you can see or you couldn't see the video, but no problem. Later, I will show this PowerPoint slide and upload in the e-learning portal. So, you can see the video that I attached together with the, the slide. Okay. In this video, in this video, you can see, okay. In this video, you can see how the, the cross-section view of the milling machine to show how the ball milling has been uh, works in the in the machine. Okay, you can see inside the ball milling machine you have the ball milling media, and also you have the powder inside the ball uh, the ball milling machine. Okay, if you couldn't see this video, uh, when you open my PowerPoint slide later on, okay, you can see uh, the the mechanism or the principle of the ball milling machine in fast motion uh, fast motion process and also slow motion process okay in this process of ball milling machine you must understand three things number one uh, the amount of the powder that you put in the ball milling machine and number two uh, the size of the ball milling media that you choose for the meaning process and number three uh, is the diameter of the ball milling machine itself okay so uh, later on you need to check this video okay all right so uh, I threw I use the animation uh, in order to simplify uh, the process obtained in the ball uh, milling machine instruments okay in this slide as you can see okay when you rotate the ball milling machine or the tumbler so you can see the ball milling media will also rotate together with the same direction with the uh, rotation of the tumbler and then this ball milling media will reach at a certain point of level of height before fall back uh, to the to the original position and this process keep continuously uh, presence in the process according to the milling time that you set during the process okay in the right side you can see uh, the example uh, how the milling media was mixed with the ceramics powder in this case i give you simple example of ferrum oxide okay because ferrum oxide uh, if you use f2 plus and f3 plus they might you give a different colors in terms of uh, ceramics powder and then also you can see here uh, the size of the ball milling media is different between each other why this milling media size is important in milling process so later on in my slide i will explain more in details how the difference in the diameter of the ball size uh, plays significant role in order to improve the efficiency of the milling process okay now from the animation that i show you in the previous slide so now i try to show it as a schematic diagram okay the this diagram titled the motion of the charge in the tumbling mill or ball mill machine okay so how you can see okay now i try to explain in brief okay how this milling process works inside the tumbler or the ball milling machine 
Okay, imagine you can see the arrow here. Okay, so means that this tumbler or the ball mill uh, container will rotate following the clockwise rotation. Okay, once this tumbler rotate following the clockwise, you can see uh, from the toe here, okay, this ball milling media will rotate until reach the maximum height inside the tumbler and fall fall back to the original position at the toe okay when this ball milling media reach the maximum height inside the tumbler so this milling media will fall in two type of falling motion number one we can say is a cascade medium Okay, what is the meaning of cascading medium? Okay, so the cascading medium means that the small, small size of ball milling media was fall slowly uh, near to the uh, agglomerate powder and mixture between the agglomerate powder and also the ball milling media. Okay, and also when the remaining ball media will go further a little bit and then falling down and come back to the to the toe okay this one we call is the cataracting medium okay bear in mind that in this milling process they have uh, three important thing you should understand number one uh, the ball milling media will reach the maximum limit of height inside the uh, tumbler and then they will fall and then produce two type of medium Cascade and also cataracting medium. What is the difference between cascade and cataracting medium? So I think I do believe you can go to the Google or any kind of references and you can see You can easily find the difference between cascading and cataracting medium and also in between the cascade and also the cataract medium uh, In this tumbler mill they will produce the dead zone Okay, what's the meaning of dead zone? So it means that in the dead zone area, you couldn't see any ball media was fulfilled this area. So it means that they have something like gap between cascade and also cataracting zone. Okay, and I do advise to you, okay, to, under, to, to understand two things from this schematic diagram. Number one, you should know how to draw this schematic diagram according to your understanding how the tumbler is rotate either clockwise or counter clockwise number two is that you need to understand how to label the schematic diagram so in this case you must understand where is the cataracts medium where is the cascade medium where is the dead zone where is the impact zone and where is the abrasion zone okay all right so here uh, is the example of the milling process in industry okay in this slide i give you two simple examples number one uh, is about the individual ball mill okay why i say this one individual because you can see for this whole process uh, only single units of ball milling machine has been has been used meanwhile for the ball milling for for mass production so normally this ball milling machine has has been set up uh, following the production line uh, process okay in this uh, diagram you can see they have big size of ball milling machine and also the small size of ball milling machine okay and also uh, in in ball milling process okay normally uh, in order to improve the efficiency uh, of the milling process uh, normally the factories or the fabricator of the milling machine will install the holder bar okay like this okay what the function of a uh, holder bar okay uh imagine uh you know the crane uh how to excavate okay the landfill okay the crane that you use okay 
you can see something like you know the hook for the crane so it means that this holder bar acts like a test in the ball milling machine okay why i say so because when you rotate the tumbler or the container of the ball milling machine this holder bar will rotate according uh, to the direction that you choose either counter or clockwise and then when when the holder reach the ball milling media together with the ceramics powder it will bring together in a in a quite big quantity of the uh, mixture between the ball milling and also the ceramic powder and it will reach a certain level of height before fall again and this process will continues again and again okay again this principle is same with this kind of principle the only difference is that in this diagram and this diagram okay for this diagram uh, we install the holder bar or stairs inside the tumbler meanwhile for normal conventional or normal process that has been used in factory or industry they are using uh, without a holder stairs okay but this kind of uh, holder is not so expensive during the uh, ball milling uh, process De therefore uh, most of the industry has uh, fabricated by their own and install it in the tumbler in order to improve the efficiency of the milling process okay i think uh, that's all for my uh, for my first sub topic for introduction of milling process okay now uh, you have if you have any question at this level uh, please post your question to using this link okay i do have uh, i do perhaps that you uh, post something so therefore i can capture your understanding uh, for my slide and also i need to uh, understand also whether you address the good information or not okay so this part if you have anything regarding the topic that i just discussed now so please post it in the uh padlet that i give the link here okay so that's all for the first part so later i will continue with my second subtopic in introduction of milling process thank you see you again bye